Let's come onto our backs. Yeah. Welcome as always to start in any position that's comfortable for you. So we're starting on our backs if you just joined us, but your legs can be bent or straight out or in as you like. And your arms can be out away from the body or resting on your body. Sometimes putting your hands on your belly and your chest helps guide the breath. And if you're comfortable closing your eyes, it's always a good idea in yoga practice, if you can, to close the eyes to help take away any external distraction and really bring your attention inward. This is a process of experiencing your practice from the inside. And we can start by feeling the breath. And even as we feel the breath happening on the inside, you might feel how the breath translates to the outside, like maybe the back of your body gets pressed more into the ground as you inhale. Maybe you feel yourself relaxing and releasing into the ground as you exhale. And slow the breath down and breathe from belly to ribs to chest. The exhale is in reverse, chest, ribs, belly. You might note how the inhale stretches you from the inside, opens, makes space. The exhale is a letting go. And now we'll all bend the knees and rest the knees together. And then just walk your feet a little bit further away, keeping the knees bent, but just a little less bent. And cross your hands on your chest. We're gonna inhale down at the floor, exhale and curl up and come up about two thirds of the way. So not all the way up, kind of at an angle, and then inhale and lower. Exhale, curl up two thirds of the way. Inhale, lower. Exhale, come all the way up. Press the knees together, squeeze your buttocks tight, tuck your chin, round your back, lower slowly. Knees pressing against each other. And then inhale at the bottom, exhale up two thirds, inhale down, exhale up two thirds, inhale down, exhale up all the way, press the knees together, squeeze the buttocks muscles, round your back, draw your belly toward your spine, tuck your chin, lower slowly. Inhaling at the bottom, exhaling two thirds up, Inhaling down, exhale two thirds up, inhaling down, exhaling all the way up, and then lower slowly. Okay. 
Okay, now continue like that at your own pace. So the reason why we're squeezing the knees together and engaging the buttocks as we lower is because it really creates a lot of stability for the back to engage the buttocks muscles, those inner thighs and the abdominal muscles all at the same time. So you're clenching the buttocks like the muscles are trying to hug the sit bones as you lower. Let's do two more. And then just relax when you've completed those last two. Let's just straighten the legs for a moment. We're gonna come back to bending them just to really let the belly release. To really breathe into the belly. Feed it some nice oxygen. Okay, and then bend the knees again. And then bend your elbows so that your palms are facing toward kind of like halfway between your thighs and the sky. Inhale here at the bottom. And then when we exhale, we're gonna lift up, turn to the right, bring the hands down, Bring the hands back to center, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift up and turn to your left, bring the hands down, inhale, center and lower. Exhale, lift and turn, touching hands, inhale, center and down. Okay, continue like that. Two more on each side.
And then once you're complete, stretch your legs out, bring your arms overhead. Breathe from your toes to your fingers. And then bring the hands back down, lift your head, tuck your chin, lift your feet off the ground, pull your belly to your spine and you can stay here and just breathe regularly or you can do breath of fire. You can have your arms out, you can have them resting down. You can bounce them if you wanna work even harder. Kind of nice if you're doing the bouncing to coordinate it with a rapid breath of fire. If your neck is not liking this, you can hold your hands behind your head for support. And release down, stretch long. And roll your head from side to side and feel the point of contact between your skull and the ground rolling across the back of your head. Come back to center, bring the arms back down, flex your feet. This is gonna be hard to describe and hard for you to see with me not in person, but you're gonna keep the feet flexed and you're going to forcefully, not really point, but release the flex and then repoint it in a way that's kind of moving your whole body along the ground, up and down. So if you bring the toes forward and then in, you can see if your whole body kind of moves. Both feet at the same time. Okay, and then bring that to rest. Come back to a deep, slow breath. Just notice how what we've done so far feels in the body, feels in the mind, feels in the heart. We'll come into a half baby pose with the right leg, taking hold of the foot with the right hand, lifting the foot up so that it hovers over the knee, and then take the left arm overhead. Now, move the left foot a little bit to the right. And move the left arm and the head a little bit to the right. So you're kind of creating a sickle shape with your body while in the half baby pose. Deep breaths, feeling the stretch that happens from the inhale, the release that happens from the exhale. Explore the fullest capacity for your breath. And then bring your head back to center, release your arm down, bend your left leg, 
Place your right ankle on top of your left thigh. And then bring your hands behind the back of your left thigh, lifting the left foot to the height of the right foot. Flex both feet. Pull your chin in toward your throat. Breathe in nice and deep and slow. And then when you exhale, press the left foot toward the right foot. Can you relax that right leg? Just let it be passive and receive the stretch from the left leg. Okay, release the right foot to the ground, stretch it out straight, and bring the left hand around the bottom of the left foot, lifting the foot so that it's hovering over the knee. Bring the right arm overhead. Move the right foot as far over to the left as you can go. It might may just be a slight amount. And then lift your head. And Move your head and your arm over to the left. Breathing deep. And bring your head and arm back to center. Bend your right leg. Place your left ankle onto your right thigh. And then clasp your hands behind the back of that leg. If you can't reach, hopefully you have a strap. Lower the head back down. The right foot is at the height of the left foot. Pull the chin in toward the throat. Flex both feet. Inhale deeply. Expand it all the way out. Exhale, press the right foot toward the left foot. And release, foot down, roll over onto your side. And then press yourself up, coming into hands and knees. Today I'd like us to all start with some cat and cow. And then those of you who like the more vigorous practice, we can uh, move on from there. But we'll just all begin with the hands under the shoulders, the knees under the hips. As you exhale, you round the back, tuck the tailbone, lift the belly, drop the head. Inhale, curling the tailbone, dropping the belly, lifting the chest and eyes. Moving slowly with the rhythm of your breath. Those of you who want, you can bring the hands in front of the shoulders and shift from cat cow to downward dog and upward dog. And as always, if you wanna add a plank and then a chaturanga or yoga push up, 
and then an upward dog, and then a downward dog. You can do that. And of course, those of you who want to stay in cat and cow, please just do that. If you're doing the downward dog and upward dog version, try not to um, just make it routine. Really give it your all. So try to perfect the postures. Really push down the heels on the downward dog, send back your hips. On the upward dog, you want your shoulders to be back and your chest to be out. Hello. And then we'll all come into a downward dog. Spread the fingers wide. See if you can press the hands forward and feel what happens in your shoulder joint as you do that. So not everybody is going to feel the same thing. In my body, when I press the hands forward, I feel a lengthening in my shoulder where my arms move away from my torso. And if that's true with you, you want to purposely draw your arms in, roll your shoulders down your back so that we're not making the space at the joint. We want the joint to stay nice and solid. We want the space to happen in the vertebrae. So you can press forward through the hands and feel like from the hands to the sit bones is one long plane, except it's lengthening. The space between the vertebrae are lengthening. The muscles are stretching. The body is breathing. You can let the chest relax down, let the head relax down, press the heels down, press the thighs back. Beautiful. And then lift the left leg, bend the knee, roll the belly to the left, look under the left arm, flex the left foot, Press the left foot back behind you. Kind of tuck the right buttock under. So you're really turning your body to the left. Feel how your breath moves through the space you're making. Feel how the breath makes space. Then lift the leg straight up, look forward, inhale. Exhale, step the foot up between the hands. I'm gonna come into a runner's lunge. If you wanna modify and come into a regular lunge with your knee on the ground, that's fine. The rest of us will be in runner's lunge. We're gonna bend that right knee halfway down toward the floor. And then when you bend the knee, See if that allows you to sink your hips a little bit more. Good. And now see if you can keep your hips nice and low and straighten the knee by pressing the heel back, but not by lifting the hip up. Find your breath. Okay. And then with weight in the right hand, we're going to lift the left arm up, twisting, gazing up to the thumb. Breathe belly, ribs, chest. Feel the front body opening and lengthening. And then as you exhale, 
Tuck your right ribs under you. Turn a little bit more. Keep pressing back through the left heel. Sorry, the right heel. Okay. And then bring the right knee down. Bend your right leg. Reach your left hand back for your right foot. And pull that heel toward the buttock. And then aim the front of your right hip for your left foot. Roll the left shoulder open away from the face. Beautiful. Bring the foot down. Bring that left hand down to the inside of the leg. Bring both hands flat on the ground. Curl the right toes under. Okay. And then we're going to tuck that left arm kind of under the crease of the left knee and lift the left foot off the ground. Now extend that leg, place the left foot on top of the right foot if you can, if not on the floor in front, and then roll the left arm up coming into side plank. Challenge your balance by closing your eyes if you want. And then lower the foot, lower the hand, come into plank. We're going to come into upward dog, either going down into chaturanga first, and then upward dog, and then back into downward dog. If you need to take a child's pose, take a child's pose. Keep shifting the weight from your hands to your heels. Keep the shoulders down the back. And then we'll lift the right leg up, bend the knee, roll the belly to the right. Look under the right arm, flex the right foot and press the foot back behind you. Move the left buttock toward the right side. So you're really getting it under you. On your next inhale, lift your right leg up, look forward. Exhale, step the foot up between the hands. Coming into a runner's lunge, modifying with the knee down if you need. And then we'll all drop that left knee. And you can see when you drop the left knee, the hips can drop, the right knee bends a little deeper. And then the key is to keep the hips down and straighten the leg by pressing back through the heel. Feel the breath giving you strength, giving you space. And then with weight in the left hand, we're going to turn and lift the right arm up. Keep the left leg straight, unless, of course, your knee is on the ground. That's fine. It can stay there. And then use your breath to make lots of space and length in your torso. And then as you exhale, aim your left ribs for your right thigh. And 
And then bring the back knee down. Bring the right hand to the left foot, bending that leg behind you. And then if you need to kind of lift up out of your lunge in order to grab your foot, that's fine. But then try to bring your hips back down and forward again. Then aim your left hip for your right foot, pulling the heel toward the buttock. Release the foot, bring the hand to the inside of your leg, come squarely onto your hands, curl your back toes under, tuck your right arm kind of under your right knee, and then lift the right foot up. Step the right foot back on top of the left foot. Rotate your whole body to the right and lift the right arm up. And again, you can close your eyes if you want an extra challenge. And come down into plank and lower onto your belly. Rest your head on stacked hands. Feel the breath moving inside you and feel how the breath moves outside you. Feel how the perimeter of your body moves with the breath. And then we'll bend the knees. Lift the head off your hands. Press down into the hands and lift up through your chest. And then try to pull your ribs up and bring your back ribs forward. And then reach your hands back for your feet. If you can take your ankles, flex your feet. If not, don't worry about it. And then really press your hips and pubic bone down into the ground. As you inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, kick your feet up and back. Roll your eyes up. And then breathe into your collarbones. Release down, restack your hands, rest your head. Let your heels fall out. Place your hands under your shoulders, push into your hands to lift yourself up and send your buttocks back to your heels. Folding forward with the arms outstretched. Let the head release down, let the ribs release down. And we'll make it an active posture, pressing forward with the hands, sending the hips and buttocks back. Lift your buttocks off your heels, curl the toes under. One last downward dog, just as a transition, lifting the knees, and then walk the feet up to the hands. 
Bring the hands to the shins. Bring your torso parallel to the floor. As you inhale, lengthen your heart forward. As you exhale, fold. And again, inhale, lift your chest, extend forward. Exhale, relax, lift your belly, relax your head. And one more. Now move your hands from your shins to your thighs. Press your thighs back with your hands. Have your fingers pointing down toward your knees so your elbows are alongside your body, pointing up and back. And you're just pressing with your hands. Widen your sit bones, taking the flesh from your inner thighs toward the wall behind you. Okay, now release the arms, bring them overhead. So your arms are framing your head. And then lift up, lift butt back. And lean back, palms face forward. Push down into the feet, lift through the chest. And then lift your head, shift weight into your left foot. Is at a spot in front of you? Focus on your breath. And then draw your right knee in toward the body, clasping your hands below the knee. As you bring your hands toward you, you can maybe bring your shoulder blades down your back a little more. Let the belly come in and down. Holding the knee with both hands, unless you need a free arm to balance. Beautiful. And then release the foot down. Send the arms up, palms face forward. Inhale, lift the chest, send the head back. Feel the front of the body growing long with your breath. And then bring your gaze in front of you again, looking at one spot, taking weight into your right foot, taking awareness into your breath, and then lift that left knee, draw it in with both hands. Rolling the shoulders down your back. That was pretty good, Michael. You fought for it. it seemed like you stayed calm. Okay, and then release and relax for a moment, just standing, maybe closing the eyes. Feeling the breath. And then take the legs wide apart. We'll have the outer edges of the feet parallel to each other. So heels are as wide as the baby toes. 
Take the arms out to the side. And then we're gonna drop to the left without letting the left hand touch down. And then bring the right arm overhead. Turn your gaze to the right. Press down into the feet. Lift up out of the ribs. Breathe in. Relax as you breathe out. Strong legs, feel the inner leg muscles hugging the bones. Reach out of the fingers. Okay, and then fold over that left leg. Exhaling the belly in and up. Walk your hands center. Fold forward. Relax down with your exhale. Just let the length of your spine find gravity. And then extend the arms out in front of you so the arms are framing your head again. And then lift up flat back. Arms out to the side. Breathe with me. And then drop the right arm down without it touching the leg, it just hangs. Bend and bring the left arm overhead. Turn your gaze to the left. Turn your awareness inward. Feel your breathing. Inhale up, exhale, fold over your right leg. Keep the legs straight, keep the spine long, hollow out the belly, relax. The arms aren't working, nothing's working, except maybe the feet. And then bring your hands center, extend the arms overhead. So I don't think you guys are quite getting what I mean here. You wanna keep the arms on either side of your head and come up as one unit. Don't lift up and then bring your arms up. Come up with the arms still framing your head. Let's do it again. Not quite there yet. So, your elbows should be alongside your ears. Maybe your pinkies are resting on the ground. And then as you lift up, the arms don't come in front of the head. They stay where they are. So we're up in one unit. Try it again. No, one more time. So this is what I'm seeing. Watch me. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this. 
That's not what we're doing. We're doing this. I don't know if you can see the difference, but you really want to keep the arms on either side of your head. So let's try it one more time. Okay, and then come up. That looks good. And then bring the arms down when you're ready. There we go. Beautiful. And step the feet together. <sighs> Let's roll the shoulders. <sighs> Arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart. Bend the knees. Come all the way down. Draw the navel in and down, like you're trying to touch the back of the navel to the tailbone. And close your eyes if you want to balance challenge. And then release your hands, lower your buttocks onto the ground. We're gonna come into a shoulder stand. So if you're not wanting to do a shoulder stand today, you can bring your hands under your buttocks and lift your legs up so you still get the benefit of the circulation moving toward the heart. If you're joining me for shoulder stand, you get the circulatory benefit also really good for the, um, the hormones in the body. So you have like the thyroid and the parathyroid stimulating, pineal. So we're gonna rock lengthwise on the spine until we get enough momentum to bring the hands to the hips. And then we walk the hands down the body while rolling the shoulders underneath. And then keep walking the hands down. Don't turn your head. If you don't understand, it's better to not do what I mean than to turn your head. It's not good for your neck. So if you, you don't want to look at me. And we're really going to try to lift our tailbone toward the feet and the feet toward the sky and try to really let the weight of the body be on the shoulders. And as though you're standing straight from your shoulders to your toes. Good. And then circle the feet around at the ankles. And reverse. Okay, and then we're gonna bend the knees and bring the knees on either side of the ear. You can release your hands, and bring them to your feet or your ankles or just let them rest overhead. And just breathing as best as you can here in this somewhat constricted posture. Obviously, if it doesn't feel good for your body to be in this posture, come out of it. And then we'll lay the spine back down, leaving the knees in toward the chest. And then release the feet to the ground, lift the hips, tuck the tailbone, release down, roll your head from side to side.
Release the legs and shake them out. If you're using an eye pillow, you can place that on your eyes now. And let your arms rest out away from the body with the palms up. Closing the eyes if that's available to you. And taking a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth, releasing into the ground. Inhaling through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth, release the jaw open, slightly parting the lips. And inhale through the nose, exhale out of the mouth, releasing the activity of the mind. Turning your mind's attention to wherever you feel breath. And then releasing the activity of breathing, just letting breath happen passively. Resting your attention in the rise and fall or the rhythm or the sensation, whatever you connect to about your breathing. And just staying there. If the mind wanders, okay, so the mind wanders. At some point, you'll wake up from the daydream and just bring your mind back to the breath again and again. Deeply relaxed, letting go, letting go, letting go.
Breathe into your heart, move the fingers and the toes, reach the arms overhead, take a deep breath, stretch long. Hug the knees to the chest, rocking side to side, gently massaging your back with the ground. And then come center, rub hand to hand and foot to foot, bringing energy back into your body. Roll onto your side. Rest your head on your underside arm. Feel your body resting on the ground. Feel the breath moving inside you. Notice how your mind feels, how your body feels, how your heart feels, how your breath feels. And then make your way back up to sitting. Just in any way that you're comfortable. Sinking down through the sit bones, lifting tall through the crown of the head. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, the hands together at the heart. Inhale, the heart up to the hands. Exhale, shoulders relax down. Inhale deeply, breathing in from bottom to top. Take it all in. Let it all go. Drop the chin to the chest. Namaste. Thanks for practicing with me.